Hello Sagittarius <clears throat> and welcome to your Removing the Blinder tarot reading. I want to start by saying thank you guys so much for all the love and support that I've seen this far on the channel. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting below. All the love and support is very much appreciated and has helped the growth of the channel immensely. So thank you guys so much for that. If you find the message is helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you'd like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe. Everyone's always welcome here, and I upload messages daily. So, Sag, I'm having a difficult time getting these cards together. Oh, what's going on? I feel like a tight, tense energy. Let's see here. I'm going to look at what you are not seeing, what impact this is having, why you're unable to see this, how to remove the blinders, and what benefits this will have. Two of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse. So with the two of wands in reverse coming out as what you're not seeing, I feel like what you are unable to see here, Sagittarius, is I feel like you're feeling, you're trying too hard to please a person, okay? Um, I feel like there's also a need to focus within, focus on self, focus on personal fulfillment. Um, why, what impact this is having on your life is, um, this is eventually going to catch up with you. You are going to, um, feel very disheartened, very, sad when certain situations that you once expected to work out don't, okay? This seven of swords in reverse also could symbolize a person that's on the run getting caught. Um, somebody could be going to jail. Um, somebody is going to get caught up in their lives is ultimately what I get the sense of. This could be you or the other person, Sag, but with you, with the two of wands in reverse, it symbolizes somebody who's people pleasing, somebody who's going out of their way to put on a show for certain individuals. And this could be you or the other person, but I really get the sense here that this has a lot to do with you, Sag. I feel like you don't wanna let a connection go. And so you're trying whatever you can to keep the connection going, but you're ignoring your your own wants, if that makes sense. And it's causing a lot of sadness, a lot of heartache, a lot of anxiety and stress. I get the sense that you are really tense about this. Um, as I said, when I was shuffling the deck, I could feel like a tense energy, like just really in my shoulders and in my back. Going within to seek the answers, okay? Take some time by yourself. Rest, meditate, contemplate. Um, I really get the sense of getting clear on your goals as well as your emotions will help you remove these blinders, okay? The reason why you're unable to see this is because you don't want to go through this heartache, but this sadness is inevitable. You will feel the sadness if you stay in the connection and if you, if you leave the connection, you will feel sad, but 
you will have an, a better opportunity to get over this sadness, okay? To get over this loss. Take some time and just get clear. Get clear on your emotions. Get clear on what you envision the outcome being. Just really digging deep within yourself and asking yourself, what do you want the outcome to be in this situation and why do you want this? will help you. I get the sense here that there is some betrayal that has gone on. There are some secrets that are going to be revealed or have been revealed um, that are going to help you release this connection. Or it's going to bring in a higher sense of learning about this connection, the completion of the cycle. Um, a change in perspective, which in turn, I feel like it's going to help you to make a decision. Now the page of swords can symbolize a swift decision, cutting somebody off. Swift, harsh decision. But I get the sense here, Sag, that For some of you, it's going to be staying in the connection. You're going to stay and wait it out. And for some of you, you are going to walk away. Whatever situation you choose, and honestly, I would have, in order to tell you what exactly that is, I would have to do a personal reading for each individual person. But I get the sense here that um, there's a lot of conflict that has gone on within this connection. There may have even been some sharing among partners, among friends. But I do ultimately get the sense that this... Um, overall is in a separation. Or it is definitely headed that way. I feel like that is going, that's what's going to have you feel rewarded. Walking away from conflict, walking away from sadness. Um, because when you're in this connection, Sag, you get to relive this sadness every day. But once you're out of the connection, this person can no longer put you through this trauma. So, as I said, take some time to go within and get clear on what it is that you truly envision out of life. And look at characteristics. Don't look at um, a per, an individual or a specific job title. Try to focus on the characteristics. What are the characteristics that the person has that you envision yourself with? What are the skills you need to acquire that job. Those are the things that you should focus on getting clear on. Once you're clear on those minute details, everything else will come into the light. The path will become clear. I do get the sense that planning this out Taking the time to make a plan, delegate where you want this to go is going to be helpful. Your plans are going to work out perfectly. I get the sense that there is a lot of conflict. 
it you may have to fight your way out of this connection but understand that being in this connection is having you distracted not being able to see more fulfilling opportunities in front of you so take the time sag to get clear on these things whether it's this week, this weekend, this sometime this month, in October. Getting clear will help clear the pathway. Stand your ground. Understand that there will be some truth that comes out in this situation. Um, that will help you to make a decision on which way, either to stay or go. <laughs> well, that helps spirit choose wisely. So with choose wisely, this card symbolizes that there's a lot of opportunities available to you. Okay, so take the time to think, analyze, carefully look at the different possibilities, weigh the pros and cons. Um, don't be too hasty to make a decision. Don't try, try not to listen to other people's opinions. Try and make this decision from a focused and wise perspective. Okay, weigh the pros and cons. Do everything to make sure you're making the right decision. Okay. Manifest your soulmate. <clears throat> and then we will get you on your merry way. Most important message for Sagittarius spirit. What does Sagittarius need to see in this reading? <clears throat> Follow your heart's desire and manifest the heck out of your life. So, Sag, that is the message that I have for you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.